Hey guys, once upon a techie here. Since we all are stuck in our homes and finding different ways to entertain ourselves, so I thought I should start with a new series of best Android apps to keep you all entertained. So in this video, I'm going to share 10 apps which are unique and can be useful to you in some ways. And if you're new here, I make videos on smartphones, gadgets, new firmware and software updates on them, and everything related to tech. So consider subscribing. Starting off with the first app, how many times do you find yourself clearing the notifications by mistake and then regretting it because you didn't read it? Well, Filterbox is an application that solves this issue by keeping track of all your notifications which you receive. And the best part is, you can restore up to 20 of them back to your notification panel. Also, it gives all the information about how many notifications did you get in 3 days or you can go all the way up to 30 days. You can also filter the notifications according to a particular app and much more. And the app has an inbuilt fingerprint lock feature if you don't want anyone to open this app in case someone gets hang of a phone, which I highly doubt right now. Well, my phone is on Android 10, but it doesn't have an always-on display feature due to the LCD panel. TrueAmps solves this problem for me by adding the always-on display feature when my phone is on charging. You can schedule it for a particular time of the day and it even lets you add music controls, show weather and select apps which you want to see notifications from. It even lets you add gestures like double tap, swipe up, swipe down, etc. The app is free, but some features are paid. If you ever downloaded a large game or a file on a device, then you probably pull down the notification panel several times just to check the notification progress. Well, with Download Progress Plus Plus, you will no longer need to check your notification panel because it will display a progress bar right in front of your eyes, saving you from interrupting your current activity. So no matter if you're downloading an app from the Play Store, downloading a file from the browser, or using any app that may use a progress bar as a notification, this app will mirror it outside your notification panel and it will even show you the upload progress of a file. And within the settings of the app, you can change the position, the thickness, and a lot more. It is a paid app, but you won't find this feature anywhere else. Movies Edge is a unique application that displays visual effects around the edges of the screen while you play music on your phone. It's a straightforward idea, and it just looks cool. You can customize where the lines start to disperse. You can change the colors of the lines, the thickness, the length. And you can even set the colors according to the album art of the song. So it changes with every song, just to keep things interesting. You can choose for which app it should work to. I like to keep my photos organized in different folders, but that leaves some old folders empty. Here's when Empty Folder Cleaner app comes into play. It does the exact same thing as its name suggests. It deletes all the empty folders in the directory which you choose. It's a pretty simple app with minimal design, no cluttered menus or anything like that. Sixth app is Memory G, a to-do list tasks and reminders app that will make this quarantine season a super productive time of getting things done. For me, the best part about this apart from its core functionality is its design. It's super clean, eye-catching and makes settings and customizing tasks and reminders ridiculously easy and just a downright visually pleasing experience. You can sync reminders across different devices and you can even share tasks with other people if you have the paid version. Plus, there are editable snooze durations and it's seriously well thought out app. I am a person whose auto rotate setting is always off, but I use some apps in horizontal orientation too. Rotation Manager is an app which lets you set rotation settings for all of the apps individually. You can choose an app and set it as fixed to vertical, fixed to horizontal, or even auto rotate so that you don't have to toggle every time you open an app. Just go to the application. Choose the app for which you want to set and choose from three options and you are done. It's that simple. Moving on, for those who download a ton of apps every week, you know how time consuming it is to uninstall the ones which you barely use. Skit is the exact solution because it allows you to uninstall apps in batches. On top of that, you can extract the .apk file from any app on your smartphone. Even the system ones and each app that I select provides me with more technical information. If I want to know the number of apps I have on my phone, it lets me know in the analytics section and in the statistics tab, I can see what OS each app is targeting as well as the minimum OS each app requires for it to run. Now this app lets you customize the status bar to the extreme. It's called Super Status Bar and a big feature that this app brings is sticker text. Those of you who are OG Android users, you might recognize what this is. 
for those who aren't aware it's actually an old android feature that eventually got swapped with the heads up notification when android lollipop got released back in 2015 but it's kind of nice to bring it back since it stays out of the way unlike the heads up notification which is sometimes irritating you can also change the background color of the ticker text to whatever you like and you can change the animation too if you get the paid version the only thing is that you will need to input an adb command on a pc to disable the heads up notification and on the home screen the status bar will turn black whenever you receive a notification the app has other features including the sliders to control the brightness or the volume level you just slide your finger on your status bar to increase or decrease it and it even has an indicator so you can know what brightness or volume level you set they also have gestures to perform custom actions such as double tap or long press to perform an action you can also remove the icons that you don't want it has other features too but they are available only if you pay a premium last but not the least all-in-one calculator is an application which lets you calculate anything and everything to give you a few examples it lets you calculate profits, discounts, percentages, taxes, geometry problems, even convert units. There are many categories and every category contains several other options to choose from. Plus it doesn't need any internet connection to work. I am using this app since my college days and I have never deleted it because it is so handy. And if you are wondering, yes it has a normal calculator too. So here are all the apps and links to all of them are in the description. And question of the day, which app did you like the most? Let me know in the comment section below. If you like the video, smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And regardless, thank you for watching. This is Once Upon a Techie signing off.